You are listening to episode 48 of the Less Stress, More Fun podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about the stress of being a parent. You are listening to the Less Stress, More Fun podcast. I'm your host, certified coach Lisa Schwaller. Each week, we talk about how you can rise above the stress of modern living so that you can focus your energy on what matters most. All right, let's get started. Well, hello, how are you doing today? So this is the second in five podcasts where we're getting back to basics with it being back to school season in most parts of the country for people who are on a traditional schedule. I thought it would be fun to open up a little temporary less stress school. <laughs> Come on in, class is about to start. I I feel a lot of things about this time of year as a parent now, like there's a lot of fun. I remember when my kids were young and all the school supplies and the challenge of getting school supplies at amazing prices. It was a lot of fun for me. And it's an adjustment. There's transitions and new schedules and new people to get used to, all of that. It seemed like a really good time of year to talk about the stress that can come with parenting. It's a busy time of year for the kids. They're back in school, maybe reviewing their dates in history and mathematical formulas so that they can lay the foundation for the year ahead. So today we're going to spend a few minutes together laying your foundations for a strong parenting year ahead. Whether your kids are little tiny babies or grown adults with maybe children of their own. First, let's talk about what are the reasons that people tend to feel stressed out in their role as parent. I think the first one is there's a lot of social pressure to perform a certain way. I think that being a parent now in 2022, as of the time of this recording, there are different expectations around what a parent is, their involvement, what your your kids are supposed to be like. That's one reason that people feel more stressed out as a parent than it seems like parents were generations ago. Second, that there's a rapid pace of social and technological changes. I think that means that there's less commonality between the generations. Kids today are digital natives. That wasn't something my parents or grandparents had to contend with. And what technology does and how integrated it is in our life or even our language. I'll never forget the time I was with the family and my son was, it was an orchestra concert and the kids were talking about how they were lit. And I looked at my son's father and I was like, what is happening in middle school? Because lit meant like drunk or inebriated, but apparently it means something different now. <laughs> So even just keeping up with the pace of terminology, like what's sick today, meant something different than it did 30 years ago. One of the things that's really stressful about being a parent is that we are responsible and we can't control them. They're not like little little puppets. I think there is an idea that if you educate slash brainwash your kids a certain way that they will perform according to plan, but there's no guarantees of that. Anybody who has more than one child knows that the personalities influence the outcome as much as how much the parent or parents are controlling or steering or programming in certain behavior, right? So I think that creates a lot of stress is this idea that you're supposed to almost be able to control the outcome. I think another reason that people find parenting stressful is just the differences of personality between a parent and a child. The way they see the world and the way they process information could be very different than their parent. Sometimes there's a hard time navigating those differences. Finally, the most basic reason that there's a lot of stress in the role of parenting is the emotions of love and fear. Like we love our kids. We don't want them to experience 
sadness, pain, disappointment. I mean, we may logically think, oh, yes, that's good for their growth. But the actual experience of watching our kids make mistakes and get hurt can be very uncomfortable, stressful even. Then, of course, fears, like what could happen? When my kids were little, I had quite the imagination and I had undiagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder, the world was a terrifying place for me. And then by association, I thought it was going to be a terrifying and certainly horrific place for my kids and terrible things were going to happen to them too. In summary, the reasons that people feel stressed in the role of a parent may be in ways that your parents or your grandparents can't relate to. So that's happening. This is what we're facing in modern parenting. Now what? What can we do about it? There are three things that I want to teach you or reinforce. Again, we're going back to the basics this week on how to manage your stress around parenting. The first thing is just take the time to get clear on what you expect of yourself and why. When you think of the phrase, good parent, what comes to mind? And why? Where did you learn those rules from? Are there things you choose for yourself? Are there ch things that you chose in opposition to your own parenting? I can't tell you how many hundreds of times I've heard from coaching clients that they want to do something as a parent because it's different than what their parents did. They have a, a judgment against something that they experienced and they think going the opposite way is going to prevent them from disappointment or unpleasant outcomes. Get curious about it. What do you expect to yourself? Why? Even that phrase, good parent, do you expect yourself to be a good parent, a great parent, the best parent, above average? What are your expectations for yourself? Why did your brain make these decisions for you about yourself in the role of being a parent? It's fascinating when you start to break it down how much our brain has mapped the list of rules for us to follow, and we weren't even aware that our brain was doing that. It's fascinating. The second thing you can do to manage the stress of being a parent is to notice where you feel friction in parenting. The way I imagine it, it's kind of like, um, like I rub my fingers together to show the friction of, of these different ideas. When you are feeling uncomfortable, when you're feeling disappointed, when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling angry, when you're feeling things that cause you to be uncomfortable, get curious about why. Are there certain aspects of parenting that you find more difficult than others? When you're feeling certain ways, what are you thinking about that's causing those feelings to come up in your own body? Notice when you judge yourself, like if you get angry with a baby, do you judge yourself for being, you know, not a good parent because you had the experience of the emotion as if being angry with a baby meant something wrong about you? What if it doesn't? What if it's just like I'm feeling angry? That doesn't mean you're going to act on it. It doesn't mean that you're going to make that part of your parenting identity. It just means at that moment in time, you're experiencing anger in your body. If you turn that into a story about how you're not a good enough parent, well, then you've taken one emotion and turned it into a problem. Notice where there are those areas in your parenting. Then here's my third suggestion for you. Please avoid time traveling to the future. If you want to manage your stress, to stay present with what's happening. I know that this is easier said than done. Of course, we're thinking ahead, not just to our own futures, but we imagine if my son gets, you know, an F on this test, then he's not going to get a good grade. And all of a sudden, bada bada bing, we're 30 years in the future, making one specific grade mean something about the course of their future. It can cause you this worrying about what today's actions and consequences mean and what it means about their personality and what it means about their likelihood of success and what it means about our relationships. And ugh, when we really go out to the future and do that storytelling, whether it's doom and gloom, this kid's going, you know, down the wrong path, or on the other hand, like almost reading too much into it, it takes you away from 
who you are as a parent today. And it takes you away from who they are, being in the moment in that experience. I find that one of the best ways that I manage my stress is to get present and ask myself, what's wrong now? Yes, I'm worried what will happen tomorrow, in a week, in a year, in 20 years. And where am I? Am I in 20 years from now? No, I am not. I'm right here just in now. I'm just hanging out here in now. And that doesn't solve problems, just staying in, in the moment. It doesn't, you know, in, in the way that our brains like to prevent problems, I'll put it that way. But when you can stay present to the moment, it's amazing how that can diffuse that feeling of stress that you have. All right, let me just go through those again. There are three things that I think you can do to manage your stress, and that's just getting clear on what you expect from yourself and why. You get to draft the job description of parent that works for you and the individual that you're parenting. You could even have a different job description for each kid if you wanted. Literally, there's no one coming by to check this stuff. So really get clear. What do you expect from yourself and why? Notice where you're feeling discomfort in parenting. That could be an interesting path to connection with yourself as a parent and with your child or your kids. And stay in the present. Avoid time traveling into the future. See if these things relieve your stress. And now this week, I have an invitation for you. I would love to offer you this journal prompt. Write down what causes you stress as a parent and ask why. When you look through that list of things that cause you stress as a parent and asking yourself why, ask for each one of those whether there's an opportunity to redefine yourself in the role of a parent and what that would look like for you. That's what I wanted to teach you about today. And I'll offer that your perception of yourself as a parent may evolve over time. The, the way I defined my role as a parent has changed from kids being two months old to two years old to 12 years old. And it'll probably be very different when they're 22, 32, 42. One of the things that really reduced my stress was to learn to be intentional with whatever was happening today. I stopped thinking too far ahead. I also learned to let go of things that I'd done that I wouldn't do again. I mean, quite honestly, how many things that we regret are just decisions we would make differently if we had the opportunity to do so. I learned to let go of those regrets or to apologize if I needed to. I'm learning to let go of the future and learning and I practice it every day to stay present with what's happening and to show up. And most importantly, that I get to decide if I'm a good mom. I get to decide if I am meeting my standards of parenting. And do you know what else has reduced the stress? Guess what? Everyone gets their own opinion of how I am performing as a mom. My kids have their own opinions. They don't need to match each other. I don't need to micromanage it, and everyone gets to have their own opinion about whether I am showing up and meeting the standards of parenting that they hold. This is really, really freeing, and I'll tell you why. First, when people give me positive feedback about the kids, I know where I've shown up and where they've shown up, and it's on them. I mean, they're teenagers now. The way they're moving around in the world they are making those decisions. That's not a reflection of me. I don't get to take credit for who they are. Oh, what a relief. And I don't have to take credit for who they are. They're growing into adults. My way of approaching parenting is been giving more independence. I really just want them to be people. And if people in the world think I've been a good mom or a bad mom, I don't really care. I know how I've shown up. And I know how I want to show up today. I'll deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. That has pretty much evaporated my parenting stress. I'm one of the least stressed out parents you'll ever meet. And I think you could drastically reduce your stress about parenting, which just makes so much space for joy and fun and discovery and self-awareness. And also, yes, 
for really getting to know the people that you call your kids because they're changing before your very eyes and they always will. Isn't that an amazing thing to think about? Thanks for listening. If you're enjoying what you're learning, I'd love to have you as a member of the Less Stress, More Fun community on Facebook. Join me there to continue the conversation from the podcast. Plus, you'll get access to things I share only with community members. I'll talk to you next week.